Wolves. <laughs> and I said, oh, <laughs> Eight Wolves and a warm welcome to today's show, which is show 94. When I go to the foot of our stairs, <laughs> it's myself, Mr. Yorkie, and Justin Karen wishing you a very happy day, a very peaceful day, and a very giggly day. Right, we got uh, Justin on the show doing his bits and bobs. We've got uh, Ricky the Riddler. We've got uh, two great guests, and uh, so it's on with the show. Anyway, what do snowmen do when they're not feeling well? They take a chill pill. <sighs> right, friends, after three. One, two, three. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going to the end. Keep on going to the end of the show, my friend. Woo! And enjoy the show. Hey, yo, pop. Good morning, folks. Good afternoon. Bonjour. Au revoir. Wherever, wherever you are. <laughs> um, do hope you're doing okay in these crazy times. Also, nice times. It's, you make your own luck. You make your own judgments. And um, today, I'd like to talk very quickly about something I saw the other day. And um, I put a lot of stuff on the internet um, and I've put a lot of stuff and I've always had good comments I've never had any bad comments because as far as I'm concerned all my stuff is really nice nothing's hurtful to anybody else I just try and make people laugh and um, I put um, I put a character on there called Nobby the Gnome I did a really good comedy bit and I thought it'd make people laugh which it made 99.9 .9 people laugh and then I had some really weird comments. One guy, somebody said, I'm like Gary Glitter. Somebody said, uh, I'm like somebody waiting to pick kids up from outside of school. And uh, it, it really nasty, horrible things. And um, I looked at it. And first of all, I thought, hmm, it's a bit strange because, you know, everybody else finds it. Thing. But um, I never answered them. I never replied to them because uh, there's a thing called a trigger point. We've all got a trigger point. And um, I'll read you this and then I'll carry on. Right, I'll read you this first. Um, <clears throat> whatever triggers you, controls you. Whatever triggers you, controls you. The people who trigger you know they can control you. That's why they say and do the things they do. If you allow someone to trigger you, it simply means you have no control over your own emotions. Which means, if I had answered those people, they would have triggered me. Then they would have started saying more horrible things, and I would have got caught up in it, and they fished me in like a fishing rod, like a, when you go fishing. Um, so what I decided to do, I decided not to answer them. And um, you know, they'll get, eventually they'll get fed up with it and go away. <laughs> and um, but. You know, my my comedy is meant as silly stuff. It's meant to make children laugh. It's meant to make adults laugh. And um, if you find any of my stuff offensive, I, I don't know where you're coming from. And um, if you don't, you know, if you don't like it, don't watch it. But don't. But if you, if, you know, they've said hurtful stuff, and um, it's I've come a long way because all I do now, I, like I say, I haven't answered it. I've just let it go. And. Um, Remember this, you know, if you're getting bullied, if you're getting bullied online or if you're getting bullied in school, don't don't rise to it. Don't don't answer it. Just leave it because they'll get fed up and they'll go on to somebody else because they're not triggering your trigger point. You've got control of your own trigger point. So don't let it don't answer these people because that's what they want. And these people need help. <laughs> and they're, they're obviously sad in their own lives and they want to victimize you don't become a victim you become a victim when they trigger you so i'll read this again quickly to you whatever triggers you controls you whatever triggers you controls you whatever triggers you controls you the people who trigger you know they control you that's why they do and say the things they do if you allow somebody to trigger you it simply means you have no control over your own emotions. So keep, you know, I before I used to get into big rows with people online or if somebody uh, said I'm stupid or whatever, I used to think, I used to like, they, 
I'd go for it, you know, and I'd start answering them and all that. And um, I said to Justin about this, I told him, Justin, about this, and he, he was like, thing, but I said, it's okay, you know, it's, it's all right, you know, if they want to do that, I've got control of my own trigger point, so I won't answer them, and I'll just carry on with my comedy. And um, I'm going to keep making you people laugh and um, keep my heart thing, and I've got my own trigger point. So if anybody starts saying negative stuff on you, online about you, you're better off not even saying nothing because they'll get fed up. If you don't answer them back or whatever, they'll get fed up and they'll go on to somebody else, right? And if everybody does it, then they won't be able to control anybody. They just need to look at their self, really. And these people uh, are not happy in their own life. So I feel sorry for them, really. So anyway, God bless to you all. And... Um, Keep your own trigger points, my friends, and raise the faith, and we're all worth what we believe, and I believe a lot about myself now, So, and I've come a long way. So enjoy the rest of the show, and that's me silly enough for today. That's me, a serious stuff. Let's get on with the show. Over to Justin for a nice song. Let's cheer him up, son. Over to you, Justin. Thank you very much, and peace to you all. I love you all. Ricky the Riddler, Ricky the Riddler, Ricky the Riddler is in the house. <laughs> How you doing folks? Hope you're doing very good. Right, <clears throat> nobody got the riddle so we're going to do the riddle again. Right, open your lug holes, here we go. What four letter word can be written forward, backwards and upside down? and can still be read from left to right. Ricky the Riddles, Riddle, 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 Riddle. There you go, folks. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I shall see you tomorrow. What did one penny say to the other penny? Let's get together and make some sense. <laughs> See you later, folks. Keep happy, keep smiling, keep healthy, and... Keep on riddling. Right, after three. One, two, three. Ricky the Riddler, Ricky the Riddler, Ricky the Riddler is leaving the house. Ricky the Riddler, Ricky the Riddler, Ricky the Riddler has left the house. Cockatoo, cockatoo, cockatoo. Oh, my eyes. Oh, God. A fever today's man. Oh, oh Mr. Allen. Oh, Mr. Allergy. <laughs> Mr. Allergy. Oh, oh, I've got to go to the chemist and buy some. I'm just, I'm just taking some as well. I hope you do, oh, hope you're doing better than me out there. Oh, oh. Oh, allergies, allergies. In my opinion, right, allergies are just the body's way of telling you you don't belong on this, oh, this planet. Oh, 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 what does, oh, what does a nut, nut allergy sound like? What does a nut allergy, what does a nut, achoo, achoo, what does a nut allergy sound like? I'll tell you, cashew, cashew, cash, cashew, oh, cashew, Oh, why, why is a gram, oh, why can, why is, why does, why can the gram, I'll get it out of a minute, I'll chew, I'll get it out of a minute. Oh, how, how can the Grand Canyon cause, <coughs> cause asthma? Oh, how can the Grand Canyon cause, <coughs> cause asthma? 
I'll tell you why. Because it's breathtaking. Achoo! Achoo! This has been... This has been Mr. Allergy. I'll see you again. Oh, dear. Keep... Oh, dear. Mm, I like pollen. Oh. I like flowers, but they don't like me. Oh, dear. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. It's been Mr. Allergy. That's the end of show. 94. Do hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, come back and see us tomorrow for show 95. <laughs> Many thanks to Ricky the Riddler, many thanks to Justin, many thanks to John Lewis for his words of wisdom, and many, many, many thanks to Mr. Achoo, Mr. Asthma. <laughs> right, folks, hold on a second, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, here we go. What did the pig, what did the pig say to the bitch? On a very hot summer's day. I'm bacon. Hey. Oh, God. Right, folks, see you tomorrow for another exciting episode. Here we go. This is the end of the show. 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 Ninety-four. I'm walking out the black door. Do hope you enjoyed the show, folks. Come back and see us tomorrow. Oh, for sure. 95. So that's a big, big, big cheery bye from myself and uh, Justin Garrett, and I'm near the lay down. <laughs> so it's a cheery bye, cheery bye, cheery bye, and keep safe, keep happy, and keep smiling. And we love you all. Peace to you all, wherever you are in the world. Bye for now. Boop-a-doo. Hip-hoo. Hooray.